I was just going to say we focus on partners in education, which is very important. But boy, what they've achieved are real partners in education. And, and so Thomas Jefferson School of Law has a partnership as well as other areas that's really focused on strengthening the curriculum at the school and, and affording students the internship. Was a, I mean, that got us all, again, as we talked about, the need to essentially expose all students to a substantive internship experience. And so that's a strong, strong partnership focus that we have at the school, which goes beyond just a nominal relationship with the business, but really, really strengthening the curriculum. And that, yeah. relate, that college relationship also was a conscious effort for each of those students if when they graduate from the high school, if they are prepared, they are autom they can automatically enter the college. That there is no, what did she call it? She said um, it was um, a seamless transition. Yeah, it was a seamless transition. It wasn't wondering whether you were going to get in or not. If they mastered the standards and they got a diploma from the high school, they went on to college. Yeah, conditional, conditional enrollment, I think right. they called that. Right, and it's yeah. because of the partnership. really work with their academic uh, that you know, these schools would be, these particular schools would really work well with this pathway. So um, a, a real, again, taking it as she referred to from K to 20, um, instead of K to 12 or K to 16, that K to 20 idea of, you know, we're trying to make sure that our students, you know, are able and we've created opportunities and pathways for them all the way through college and potential graduate students. Remember she talked about the ninth graders entering and doing dual enrollment nine through 12, and actually basically almost being finished with their bachelor's when they finished high school. Right, yeah, and those are opportunities that, that exist here. Right. Yeah.